I sit like this because I do yoga now, so I'm just a yogi, you know what I mean? Don't let me get into a half pigeon. I'll do a half pigeon pose right now into crying baby or whatever it is. Is it crying baby? Laughing baby. Laughing, wow. laughing baby is a bit intense. It's like literally on your back, holding the bottom of your feet with your legs up in the air. Okay. Like you're ready for some, you know what I mean? Anyway. <laughs> Are you trying to interrupt me so you can start the video? My new intro is going to be me walking on frame going, I fucking hate making these. And I sit down and go, hey guys. <laughs> And just keep saying something that funny, eh? Okay, cool. Hey guys, uh, I'm making another video again. And today the topic is going to be something that you all loved last time, which is menswear TikTok. And guess what? I haven't seen the videos, but can I guarantee it's not got any better? No. It's not got any better? No. I did, I did purposely seek out some are they, okay, uh, outfit. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, you should do. You should mix it up. We've got to be fair. I spent. It's I terrible. Spent a good, got to be I fair. Spent a good hour and a half searching. <laughs> Why? Have you seen the quality of my videos? I don't What's know. wrong with you? We're gonna go through menswear TikTok again. Hashtag menswear TikTok. Is it here to stay, or should it get in the bin? Most of it should get in the bin, right? I think another thing about menswear TikTok to quickly give some preamble is that, like, I think last video I mentioned something about being into fashion and style. Whereas like TikTok is just style. It's like the clothes they're styling are just bleh. Where is that person on TikTok who's, you know, like collecting fashion and into fashion, but also styling it well? You know what I mean? You're shaking your head a lot. So I'm assuming yes. I couldn't find that person. I don't think they exist unless I get on the platform. Do you know what I mean? Should I go on TikTok? Let me know in the comments. Imagine me on TikTok. I know what I'd do, which is that the first one I would do is, you know, when all the sexy men get their fucking bods out before they do the, the video, and that's literally the only reason people click on the video, and they ended up just putting on shit clothes. I'm going to do that with my dad bod and make everyone throw up. So, let's see. Okay, anyway. I haven't seen these yet, so uh, let's get straight into it. First person is Roba Green. Well, first person is Rob A. Green. Roba. Roba Green? I'm fucking tired, clearly. Holy shit. All right, let's do this. Summer outfit idea. <laughs> Why is he going so quickly? I can't see how bad it is. Oh my god, the jack and fucking bucket hat. Right, I need to just quickly pull that one up. That was so quick. What the fuck? First of all, why are all these guys in such great shape? Is it like, oh, I'm going to start TikTok today. Let me bang Jim real quick. Fuck the clothes I'm wearing, though. Summer outfit idea. Basically like UPS. Linen shorts, brown linen shorts, white vest, white vest tucked in, matching shirt, white Air Force Ones and white Nike socks, and a Jacquemus bucket hat that's the same fucking colour as the rest of his clothes. What styling is that? What do you mean styling? You've picked three pieces of clothes that fit you fine and they all colour match and then you've got white Air Force. What do you mean summer outfit idea? Beige and white Air Force? Come on, TikTok. Oh, I'm just gonna go straight to the next one. Who's this? Vinny Seno. Oh my God, he's bold and he's called Vinny. Okay, casual outfit. Jacked. Jack, naked and jacked. Well, this is already less casual than his the outfit before of the other guy. He said summer outfit idea. Oh, this is so basic, bitch. It's not bad though. I mean, is it? It's, it's okay. I like the proportions of his stuff. He's got like a decent vibe. Plus, I absolutely advocate drinking and making content. Oh, I wish I had some wine now. What a legend. But like, his actual like his actual outfit, it's not too bad. Like, but. Do you really need help putting on a cream shirt and some navy shorts with just the most popular Adidas trainer right now? Again, I'm looking at this going like, everyone's got to start somewhere and not everyone cares as much as I do, but like, do you, like, how much help do you need? How much help does someone need? Do you know what I mean? Am I being unfair? Like, look at me right now, right? I have an Aim Leondor black hat and an Aim Leondor green shorts and a white tee because I'm chilling at home, right? If I was to make a fucking 30 second video and I was jacked to the tits, explaining this outfit, like, is that not just a waste of time? 
what <laughs> am I, are you giggling with me or at me because like what what is that I don't understand and like oh man like it's it, this is also why I'm such an advocate for like don't necessarily go out it, this, it's not a hard and fast rule but like don't necessarily go out and buy a full outfit like don't look at this guy and go like right Bleh. it's like a trap that you fall into when you're first getting into fashion and style I've like I've seen this guy cool I need a burgundy hat cream shirt navy trousers and those shoes like and you'll want blank copy it like get into fashion as well understand the brands silhouettes materials everything and just go piece by piece and then just start creating your own style from all the pieces you've got in your wardrobe don't don't look go for looks like and yeah it's inspiration so you can take bits of it and whatever but again what fucking bits can you take from plain navy shorts and sambas which are just everywhere at the moment and i'm not even shitting on sambas i like sambas i like to have in a moment but yeah i don't just oh man it's just all this it's just so frustrating if you want to look good okay so next is not fashion justin this is what i would do go your to your local so thrift store and mine. cut one of these short sleeve button ups look for a modal silk or rayon blend and then crop it have this we saw have right we, here, have we done like this have we done this guy before i think so i it, I, th I feel like we've looked at his stuff before it might not have been on a video but i feel like we've looked, he's looked at his stuff before but first of all he's talking about like crepe silk rayon shirts so the fact that he knows that or at least he's done his research and he $5. cares about that stuff. It's a very, very good start. So I'm cutting about three inches off the shirt. I'm using this trusty oh, pizza yeah. cutter. Oh, I like this guy. Right? Oh, okay. I mean, the pizza the cutter is just... I like this a lot. The tank with the flowy shirt is an undefeated combo. Love the vibe. Love the vibe. Case. And I love that he cares about proportion. First of all, don't fucking cut your shirts with pizza cutters. Go to a tailor. They'll do that for you. Yeah, you've got to pay, but they'll actually hem a shirt properly. And guess what? You can still do it to whatever length you want. I wish he did the shirt just a little bit longer. Like, I want to say a little bit longer. I'm talking, like, if he did it by an inch and a half or two. It, or even maybe, I don't know, just a little bit. But, like, it's a little bit too cropped for me. But, yeah, I like the pants. I like the idea of the outfit. But, again, talking about individual pieces, like, the, the vibe of the outfit is good. But, like, the, the like, split cut tonal loafers I didn't like and just like if he just had like some classic Gucci horse bits on you know what I mean just something a little more like just to elevate it a little bit and yeah I really like the color palette too but I just wish he'd there's a few details that you can't control buying like vintage stuff going back to my other video and just I don't know yeah the shirt great idea though because the material is really cool and he made it something of his own which I really appreciate but I feel like it could just be like a little bit longer, but anyway. So now we're going to Joe Kenneth. Oh, oh, what's that? that? <laughs> he stepped up in what looks like the 1953 Gucci horse bit loafers. I'm a genius. I don't think it is them. Um, I like his high-waisted trousers already, man. Okay, let's put the glass down. I was going to a cookout and wanted to wear some breathable fabrics. Hence the linen trousers by Scott Fraser collection. Yeah, I love, I love those colors. I love pleasing. those trousers. They're really, really cool. Nice the color's awesome the too. Shirt I really, really like this wearing the vest. Love the jewelry. This is like a classic look. Classic menswear. Hashtag menswear look, but it does look really good. A shirt. Oh, fuck. It's essentially the Gucci loafers. Do you know what I mean? I really like the shape of the shirt. It fits him fucking insanely well. Like, insanely well. I just don't agree with the pattern, but that's personal preference. I just wish that his shirt was... It doesn't work with the colour palette that he's gone for for me, but I uh, I really, yeah, I like his vibe. It's a lot. perfect flavour to this fit. Very, very cool. It was sunny this day, so I completed my look with my shades by Mascot. And of course, it just tied everything together. Oh, his shades fit him well as well. I like Mascot too. He's, yeah, like, this guy understands how to dress for his height, body shape, everything. Absolutely kudos to him. Well done. He wasn't bad. But I just wish he was wearing fucking design, you know what I mean? And not just some fucking whatever. Smash thing. You don't care? Do you think he looks good anyway? I think you're pretentious. You think I'm pretentious? Yeah. Me? Me who cares about price, brand, everything? How, how could you say that? How could you say such a thing? On my channel? Ugh. Yeah, I'm a little bit pretentious. It's because there's a reason that these big brands are in the place that they are. It's because they make amazing stuff. Like, tell me... Those Gucci 1953, 63, 73, whatever they are, loafers, are not the absolute ideal perfect proportion for a horse bit loafer. 
fucking give me another one and put me in front of it that has done as well as that loafer. It absolutely deserves all of the money that it's worth because they have nailed the colours, proportion, everything. Have you seen the green pair of this season that I had in my basket for ages? Oh my god. It's just the perfect horse bit loafer and they've nailed it and they deserve all the credit, okay? Just because they're big doesn't fucking mean anything. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes things are popular for a reason. What are you giggling at? But genuinely, like, sometimes these things deserve to be in these places because they have absolutely got the perfect... And it's, it's, a, it's a chaos theory alignment of the stars for everything to find the right proportion, thickness of leather, comfort, sole colour, so high, just every little detail has come together to make those Gucci loafers perfect. Like, guess what? Those Gucci loafers, they shit on his. They shit on his. I'd like to. I'd love for him to have some. Maybe not even pay for them. Let's see if we can get Gucci to give him some. We're connected like that, right? This is a huge channel. What? <laughs> Fiona is not enjoying this episode. Anyway, next, we're going to Trey Bryant style. Oh no, oh. Okay. There are five summer outfits that girls love to see on guys. Number one is the graphic tee look. Not only is it a cool outfit to wear, but it shows personality. Number two is the camp collar shirt with the short shorts that girls love to see on us because they love seeing those legs and chest. Number three is a simple white t-shirt and linen trousers. This is a dope smart casual look that you can definitely wear on a date. Number four is a nice casual dressy look like a polo and That's some right. white trousers. You can wear this outfit to special celebrations Ooh, or dinner dates. And number five is a suit and they do love this. Oh, suit, everything's so so tight on this man. Well, sorry, what's his name? Trey Bryant Style. We just need to quickly run through your video again, mate, because you're absolutely lying. So first of all, girls do not love guys in Converse Nike shorts and a fucking band tee. That, to categorise that all women would like that, first of all, is wild. And I know that this is clickbait, but like, don't do the whole like, fuck, I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna name this video. I'm like, Anyone who loves fashion loves this video. If you like, if you've even bought a piece of clothing that goes on your body, you love this video. Oh man, first of all, you don't know what band that girl likes. What happens if you're wearing a Stones t-shirt and she's a fucking Primal Scream fan? I don't know. Yeah, wrong. First of all, first of all, inherently wrong. Just the topic and the first point is wrong. Hot boy summer, there is no woman that I've ever met who's like, man, do you know what it is? I love summer. Oh, why is that? Angelina, Jolie, friend of mine. Why Why is that, Angelina? Like, why do you love summer? I love it when all the men have their legs out. That's just absolutely not true. First of all, people don't have cool shit on their legs like me. Not everyone has shit like this, you know what I mean? Not everyone has tiny, cute, adorable little thin legs with tattoos on them. Second of all, uh, hot, they love to see legs. They love to see legs. That's bullshit. No woman has ever said that. If you're a woman and you're watching this channel, which is most likely not the case, tell me. Please tell me. Because that's just bullshit. Well, that's because they love seeing those legs and also, what he's wearing is just crap. I've not even fucking talked about what he's wearing. He's just enraged me. Third, dope smart casual look. White tee, white trainers, and some blue linen pants tucked in. T-shirt too tight, trousers a little bit too tight. They're not too bad, but the fact that you need that, the fact that that's something to pretend to not only one, say you've got the style, and two, fucking make women go crazy is mind blowing to me. This, actually, the polo, kind of cool. I actually respect the fit and it looks good. And I really like the whole outfit, but the cargo pockets on the pants need to go. Like, there need to be some wide leg linen pants. This outfit is cool. If he dressed, if this was his, this is how you get women outfit, number one, and his only outfit, cool, because he's not a bad looking guy, you know? But man, also the, the fucking suit, the last suit, like, I don't think he can button it up. If you watch this video, I don't think he can button it up. I think it's that tight. He literally, he could not button it up. Like the fact that it's holding up creases on the arm is mind blowing. It's so bad. It's so, so bad. You've done poorly Trey Bryant style. Sorry, man. That's just not. One, the topic's not true. Two, one out of five was okay. Like, come on, come on.
What is this? Why? Right. We're just promoting people's funny TikTok videos now. That was, that was good. Alright, was, was that the last one? Or what? Is that, was that meant to be the last one? Are there any more that are meant to be good? Because that, that was very funny. Kyle, Waters, Walters. That was funny. We'll play that. We'll play a bit of that. I'm about to so next we're doing Alex Costa. Never looks as good as it should. One is you're probably missing accessories. I'm not talking about the crazy stacked bracelets. Wait, is he saying? Wait, he said something about your outfit. It doesn't look as good as it should. I'm about to tell you why your outfit never looks as good as it should. Oh, okay. One is you're probably missing accessories. I'm not talking about the crazy stacked bracelets or the seven Coachella wristbands from all the <laughs> yeah, previous Yeah, rough. Trust me, there's a better way to do it. One watch, one or two rings, a necklace, and the outfit now starts to look a lot more put together. Just don't go overboard. Two, you're wearing. Mm. Yeah, but he's right. Obviously, accessories help an outfit, but when you're playing the game of one of each, you've got to, you know, you've got to absolute nail it. And not to toot my own horn, I'm doing that at the moment with mine. I have a little, I've not got it on, I have a little red Van Cleef rose gold necklace that is to die for. It's adorable. Everyone, whoever sees it is like, that's fucking cute, man. And I'm like, yeah. And guys don't wear it. So... If you're doing this, it has to be. Don't giggle at me. How dare you? I'm getting, I'm getting roasted off camera explaining <laughs> things I own. Um, <laughs> Everyone who's ever seen it has yeah. complimented you. Yeah. Any human being who's laid eyes upon it has immediately said something. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, so like a special piece like that, and something like very unique and a standout piece. Second of all, I have a bracelet that I wear, the the wonderful um, Jack Cannon at Hatton Labs made for me that I designed with him, which is this rose gold bracelet with like brown diamond, rubies, all, all the shit around it. I've forgotten all the fucking different things like yellow diamond, uh, peridot, amethyst, whatever. And it's amazing. And it's, 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 it's so unique. And when you have things like that, that stand out are the pieces on their own. If I took it off and it wasn't me wearing it, and you saw it on a table and you have no idea who's made it, whatever, it's a cool piece on its own. What he's talking about is having like one solo silver chain and like one signet random ring. And it's like, yeah, it helps a little bit, but like when less is more and all that shit, you have to make sure that, you know, like it's one of those things where it still has to be like impactful. You can't just throw on anything because accessories work, you know? You've still gotta be, you've gotta be mindful of every little detail, you know? Mixing all this branding, all these logos everywhere, it looks tacky. One or two, that's fine. No need to go overboard. Three. True, don't wear too many logos and specific logos work, ironically, non-ironically, depending on the brand or coloring or fucking whatever. I, I agree about that. You're wearing skin tight jeans that look incredibly uncomfortable. I get that these were a trend in 2015, but it's time to size up. No need to go baggy, but at least a tapered fit would make your outfit a lot better if you're trying to be stylish today. Make sure to follow for more tips. I'm kind of, he's a douchebag. I feel, I'm really, that's really mean. He, he, he comes across a bit sleazy, but he, yeah. Yeah, stay away, I mean, it's not stay away from skinny jeans though. Like what happens if you're like, you, you have that Celine style and you've got like black biker boots and you're like this thin and you can get away with them and you wear like fucking open silk shirts and stuff like that. And you've got like cigarette jeans on. That kind of works on the right person. You, but you've got, to be fair to his point, that's not for everyone. You have to be a very specific aesthetic and person and look for that. But like, yeah, I, he comes across as cheesy, but he's not wrong, you know what I mean? What, last one? This is the last one? It's the last one. It's a warm day in Japan. Let's be dressed. Now, specifically, I'm in Kyoto. Devon on deck. It's like 70 degrees Warm day in Japan. This so, room obviously, sick. we're going to start with these flared cargoes by Sebastian Ami. Boxy oversized strike tee. I picked it up in Tokyo last week. Look at that drape. Come on, now. And to keep it light and comfy, the Look at that drape. Look at that drape. I think I mean drape. Okay, interesting choice of words. slides by fear of God. And I thought I heard somebody saying something about these pants dragging. Where? You know they're not going to drag. Why would you give that comment any attention? I thought I saw someone being... That's, that's like me posting a coat and then someone going like, wow, it looks like it's going to be too big for you, bro. And then me making a video going... Yeah, it's not fucking too big for me now, is it, you little dickhead? 
Uh, who gives a fuck? And also, your outfit's oh, basic, man. Oh, no, You've put on really an really oversized nice striped team, t-shirt really like- with some oversized cargoes and probably the worst mules on the market that you can get. There's so many other cooler slip-on rubber mules or suede or leather or anything. I lay Labo. The of course he's wearing the Labo, obviously. And for my jewelry, my vintage day just with the blue dial. This I do like his watch. Pinky. And this one's a birthday gift from my wife. Ain't that precious? Now that's nice. And for the finishing touches, this cream and navy anime inspired cap designed by me. And this heavyweight canvas. How is it an anime inspired? I think you'll find the anime inspiration for that is just a baseball cap, is it not? Right? Ugh. I like his watch, but this is preference for me. I'm done with everyone doing all the big silver jewelry stuff. Like, that's hashtag menswear for me now. Like, everyone who's got all the big silver accessories, and I know silver is accessible. And by the way, those rose gold pieces that I was telling you about that I have, it's taken me fucking six years to get two things. So like, I understand that if you want more accessories, you got to do it quicker and it's easier with sterling silver. But like, man, like I would much prefer to wear something more unique, have my own taste in something, save up, get gold. Do you know what I mean? Even though they both were gifts. It's tote by my creative studio. And yeah, there you have it. This isn't this isn't Devon's fault. Not a funny outfit. Basic. A symptom of TikTok is this preamble and this necessary need for like hyper content. Me even making these videos once a week feels like a bit too much. That we don't need to see green cargos that every other fuckboy in LA has. We don't need to see a striped T-shirt and those sheriff god mules are just like whatever. Like it's just like this over. Um, it's like an overly flooded market. What am I trying to say? What are the words that I'm trying to say? I'm trying to use big boy words, huh? Oversaturated market. Nice. Oversaturated market. And it's just... Like, some of it, I get. The tailored pieces, like, the, the, the two guys that I liked. There's, like, linen, there's green linen trousers are awesome. And, like, talking about those more in depth and why they work in X, Y, and Z is very good. And that help expands the average person's mind of what they know about fashion. And when I say average person, I don't mean that in an offensive way. I mean, not everyone gives a fuck about fashion. And some people care a little bit about style, not a lot about style. And I know the baseline of fashion style in general is complete subjectivity, but at the same time, is it? Because there is just some people that look better, you know what I mean? So is it completely subjective if there are just unexplainable people out there who dress incredibly well? Like myself, you know what I mean? Explain this anomaly. How do I look so good in everything? This is what we're here to kind of teach people. So yeah, TikTok's still terrible then, yeah? Yeah? Cool. All right. Thanks, TikTok. Bye.